Hey everybody, it's the Costume Jeweler and we are at HEP Thrift Store in Clearwater, Florida and we're gonna go in here looking for purses and jewelry and knickknacks, trinkets, and doodads to pick up for resale on YouTube and eBay. So check out my YouTube channel. We have live pop-ups, auctions, buy it nows. So hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out. I post daily videos. I love to thrift for resale. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and hit a thumbs up for this video. And let's go into this huge thrift store and look around. We don't ever look at the clothing or anything like that, but you're gonna see that this is a big thrift store, lots of clothing. So if you love clothes like most of us do, and shoes and things like that, you can find it here. You can usually find purses and jewelry also. They're gonna have it, it doesn't mean we're gonna buy it and take it for resale, but we're gonna try. So it's a really nicely organized store also. And it's really big. It's time to start selling more too though because it's nearly Christmas. I can't believe it's already November. So you never know what you're gonna find in this store just like any store you just got to look. Oh, that's kind of nice. Look at that. Guess you don't drink out of that part, though. I'm hoping we find some fun smalls in here, too, for resale. The last time I was in, I found a little ceramic shelf. That I haven't decided if I'm gonna sell it or if I'm going to put it in my house. Tell me how much these are, but aren't those cute? I guess those are wine glasses. The grape leaves are etched. should I get them? And we're gonna think on those. Those would possibly go to the Airbnb. I've got a lot of wine glasses there already, but these are super cute. So we're gonna see how much those are. We may just buy those to use there in Texas. I've spotted more purses hanging up way over there. They don't usually have them hanging up that far over, but they do today. So we're gonna check that out also. I've been in here before where these brooches filled this whole mannequin. Not so many today. This is the same store that I found the tooth necklace on a few weeks ago. So y'all saw that video. I kept that piece. Now this is a most unusual pendant. This looks like it's carved out of wood. That's really different. It's on a leather chain. So if we can show you up close, look at that, isn't that cute? Look at this cute whimsical pendant necklace. Chain's great. Looks like it might be blown glass, maybe a heart. Not sure. Looks fun though. <laughs> two piece vintage. Oh, that's the vintage stick pin for two. I'm not sure on this necklace what this necklace is. Cute little Santa Claus earrings. And you have these little whales wearing a, or not whales, I'm sorry, dolphins wearing a Santa hat. Let's zoom in on that. 
Aren't those cute? Quite a few purses as you see, not as many as they normally have. They have a little boutique over here too that they keep a lot of the purses behind that counter. You can still find name brands right here on these shelves, but a lot of times you will find them in what they call the boutique. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so this looks like, see that X there? That looks like, it's, oh gosh, and y'all can help me out on this. It's not Picasso, it's Picasso or Paloma or something. I've seen this before. We're gonna look inside and see. But I've seen this brand before, at least that emblem. I'm not sure if this is that brand or not. We're gonna check it out. So the brand is missing on it, so comment below. But y'all are gonna know what this X is, and I can't remember, but it starts with a P. And I think that's what this purse is. I believe it's Italian, but maybe that's not the X symbol that I'm looking for all, at all. But y'all are going to know what I'm talking about, I promise. We've all seen it before. Some patchwork, a lot of brown purses. Oh my gosh. And this is pretty blue. I don't remember if I saw this in here before or not. I don't know if I have or not. If you know anything about this brand, let me know. G-U-A-T-E. Looks to be leather. And here you go, look at this is my cousin Rosetti. If y'all haven't met her before, she pops up around every corner, hollering, take me home, take me home, buy me, buy me. She does not, she's a hard worker. Rosetti is a real hard worker. She has no give up in her. She's relentless, absolutely relentless. She has no give up whatsoever. If you want to employ somebody, employ Rosetti, because she scares me around every corner. We're looking at the purses first, and then we're going to go to the jewelry. Yeah, but Rosetti, me and her, we, we don't really have a relationship. She wants to, you know, wants me to try to sell her on YouTube, but I just can't do it. Can't do it. Look at all this Vera Bradley. So you can be in Vera Bradley heaven at this store. Beautiful pieces. And then we've got Wallet Heaven right here. I'm not going to show you every one of them. We kind of just look topically to see if there's anything that stands out. If it does, it does. And usually we buy if it does. We'll see. This is definitely a vintage bag. It feels like felt. I'm going to show you the top of it. We're going to zoom in on that so that you can see it more clear. So it's small. I guess it could be a what was used as a change purse, evening bag, Liz Claiborne Rampage. Here's a different angle of the store just so you can see, but lots of clothing. And the store is big. So look at this very old leather. It looks old to me. Leather. I'm not sure if this is a crossbody or what this is, but you're going to see the chain right here. There's only one hole, so I'm not sure. This is not connected. 
So not sure how that's supposed to be worn. I'm gonna zoom in to see if we can see what the designer tag says for the signature. Saddleback. So I don't know if that's the brand or if this is Saddleback. Let's see what it says on the inside. It says made in old Mexico. I wonder how old that is. So that Saddleback piece made in old Mexico. Look in here and see if there's anything else. And on this side, you have the black purses. They color code here pretty well. That brand is that brand is Sarita. Never heard of Sarita either. I think I'm learning something every day, and sometimes I don't learn at all. It just depends on if I'm listening. A few more wallets right here. It's Nine West. VOC. Leather kiss lock. Is this real? I don't know if it is or not. It's safekeeper. The Events Camuto bracelet. What this little door knocker is. It's not an earring or a pendant. I don't usually sell coins, and this is not an actual coin, that, but it's a commemorative coin. This is from 1976, pretty cool piece. So I think that'd be great to resell. And this piece right here I might buy also for resale because look at this. Don't believe it to be silver. But I like that. So I'm going to take that home and we are going to resell that one. So we're looking. We're not going to dig everything out. So Kai Pearls. I never heard. There's some Kate Spade in there. I'm not sure of this piece right here. We may take a look at that. That's a huge pearl. This bracelet right here is great too. I'm gonna look in the cases first before I have them pull stuff out. Dolce and Gabbana. So I want to see if there's anything that we want to look at more closely before I have them come over and do that for us. Helps maximize time. This looks like a Druzy ring. Look at this. The detail on it. Not sure if that's a Victorian. I'd like to take a look at it, possibly. This is a beautiful cross with two heart pendants. I'm probably gonna get that one. It's not sterling silver but it's pretty and I love the message on the back. Faith, hope, and love. Look how beautiful that is. This is looking like turquoise. I don't think it's on sterling, but I think that that's turquoise. To me, these are unusual mother of pearl earrings. 
of the, the, the post. They're lightweight and we really are going to pack those up for resale. I'm going to look in here the best we can, see what they've got. I saw those the last time I was in here. I didn't get them, obviously. They're here. They're tie tacks. I'm not, sorry, not tie tacks, cuff links. I'm loving this bracelet. Look at this. With the black crows, that is something that I would buy, and I am going to get it, possibly. We'll see. I love that. Love it. This piece is Lori Leonard, and we're getting that one. See a Damascene piece right there. So this Druzy piece does look vintage. It's not Druzy though. bad that that's broken right there on the end. What is this little trinket thing? Love these earrings. Those are real pearls. And I love the clock earrings right next to it. Porcelain roses. I see these every time. They look like Mother Pearl, and I never get them, but I'm going to get them today. So, this is the boutique where they'll have purses and jewelry, more jewelry. Don't know what you're going to find. Cool copper bracelet. So I want to show you this bracelet again because I think it's probably my favorite pick at this store so far. Just super unusual. I'm going to tell you who the, who the designer is also because y'all probably heard of her. I have not. And comment below and let me know. Lori Leonard. And it's signed right there. This bracelet, though, makes me want to look her up and figure out or see what other pieces of jewelry she designs. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at this super vintage Dooney. Isn't that crazy? We're going to look at that. What is this little guy right here? Is this, you know what I think this is? Besides super cute. It's a donkey, I think. Let's see the tail. Can't hardly see it through here. But the tail is a brush. And I wouldn't consider these smalls, but I love these dancing people every time it's a pitcher. But you can see right here where their hands come together is the spout. It's a beautiful stretch bracelet.
how unusual this ring is. We're going to get that. So there's a Kate Spade. We're not going to take a look at it. Um, up here might be coaches. before this is a very old coach I'll take a look at the black one please up on the top shelf so I am going to splurge and get this but look at that so it's a pitcher a dancing pitcher awesome it's from linens and things, but it's still super cute. Again, I'm not sure what this is, but I'm thinking that this is just a neat way to hold a duster. It's a set of five mariachi puppets. These are awesome. So we're going to get all five of them. So much stuff in here you could get easily distracted. You'll start looking at one thing and then you'll switch to another. Talk about getting ADD. There's always just so much great stuff. I love these little guys right here. He's got a beer stein, one leg, get a little man. I love these little wood statues like this. And look at this one. This is really nice. We're going to pack that one up. So I saw these the last time I was in here. They're hand painted stonecraft in England. Not sure how well they would ship. These are cute little mud men. Little wood figurines. Love anything costumey. Not sure what used to be on this one. I don't know if anything's missing or not. So guys, we pretty much looked a lot of places. Thought this is that old mirror where the birds ran around on it. Nineteen eighty six. So we've looked a lot of places in here, a lot of at a lot of things. And we are going to go check out. So subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and click all. Don't miss out on live buy it now's a purses and jewelry. I buy purses, jewelry, knickknacks, all kinds of things for resale on YouTube and eBay, perfume bottles. About four things. So check out my channel. And until next video, we will see y'all later. Bye.